Foodie Beauty, a polemic YouTube content creator, recently returned to Canada from Kuwait. However, it has come to light that she may have deceived her subscribers with seven major lies she told when she returned. These lies include claims of moving back to Canada, getting an apartment, giving her cat Sam back, taking care of her health with a healthcare appointment booked for April 18th, repairing her Kia car, maintaining her faith, and involvement in a PayPal and Amazon wish list scam. It's problematic. So let's uncover the truth behind Chantel's alleged deceptions that have been stirring controversy among her followers and the girl world community. <music> buy a new car <laughs> no i just it's i don't know like i'm staying here don't worry about it but i'm, I'm very sometimes not always sometimes i get sad i don't know <laughs> i can't roll up my window i'm gonna have to figure out like how to make my life productive and Fulfilling here. This may not seem like a big one, but when you let your audience know you have spent 2000 Canadian to repair a vehicle and then you give your PayPal account information, it can become quite manipulative. Plus, this plays on the sentimental value the car may have for those watching Chantel. Yeah, do you know how expensive it is to like start up again? So every little bit helps. Like, when your car breaks down, you have to move, and you have to travel internationally, and you have to buy things at the airport when you're traveling internationally, like a lot of fluids, which caught... Every time I would buy drinks at the airport, it was like 30 bucks. Yeah, no problem, no name. Um, I love it in my Kia, yes. <clears throat> Set the chin free. That's what I'm doing. A little bit of the chin. I can reveal a little bit of the chin. My car, it wasn't broke. It just had a lot of wear and tear. It had a lot of things wrong. Like, not a lot of things wrong with it. But it needed a lot of maintenance. Like, regular maintenance. Because it was, especially the brakes. They were, like, close to 2,000. I'm not getting, it was, like, all, okay. If I called a regular mechanic who's known to be like fair price blah 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 because they always say the dealership scamming you well dealership scamming you that's an interesting word to use scam this guy wasn't much cheaper so i was like you know what i'm gonna go with the actual ikea was it oem parts or something like original kia parts and they guarantee their work and <laughs> sorry i need to clean I need, we need to clean the kia man <sighs> So, yeah, that was insane. Okay, there we go. I don't, I can't pin my PayPal. Oh, you guys are sweet. You don't have to. But if you want to, my PayPal is. <laughs> I don't know how to pin. I'm on my phone. It's C. Okay, get ready to write it down if you want to. But you don't have to. But if you do, thank you. Okay, so it's C-S-A-R-A. Is that my PayPal? E is that my PayPal email? Yeah. C S A R A. At, no, you know what? Just look up Foodie Beauty. PayPal.me backslash Foodie Beauty. Yeah, that's what it is. The key is a symbol of her Canadian content and often the only place she had available to stream her videos. Foodies, Beezers have requested repeatedly for her to return to the better times when she was mobile and happy. And these adventures were often helmed from this Kia. It is very nostalgic for her subs to see her going by fast food windows, traveling to various restaurants, going to Nada and Didi's place, sitting in a parking lot and acting paranoid, driving the long, quiet roads of Cornwall, having her coffee bees and so on. Foodie can only hope her subs would have wanted to chip in with the repair costs so they could all relive the fun times they had in the past. There was no evidence of any repairs, and all that happened 
was the car light gave out, much like the quality of her content. There we go. Why is my light, this light is burnt out. It's the only light that works in here. I'm supposed to go and put a deposit on a, on a place. Coming in at number six is getting an apartment. Chantel's chat spoke of her having a glow up on her return to Canada, and part of this new Canadian era was getting an apartment of her own. Her subscribers even hinted they would like to see her back living with Pete's. Reaction channels understand foodie will have little to no hope of getting an apartment by herself, though she may have claimed otherwise. The YouTube creator has two bankruptcies, owes tens of thousands in back taxes to the Canadian government, has no viable credit or credit history, has no credit card, no recent credit history in Canada, and would need to find another individual to co-sign for a lease or rental, most likely. She had at one point made over 20K in a month for an extended time, and all has been wasted on Amazon hauls, illicit substances, and fast food, allegedly. The apartment deception had Foodie telling her audience she would need to thrift and all the items she would need to buy. It sounded like items to take to a pawn shop with the mention of TVs and easy to sell electronics. The entitlement of some individuals during such tough financial times, especially for many in Canada, to tell her audience she would provide them with an Amazon wish list to be able to directly purchase items for her home. This would be the reason to have a homewarming party, but not with strangers from the internet. Their waterbed. I'm cracking you up, Deirdre. Okay, I'll make an Amazon wish list and no one will buy anything for me. So I don't like asking people for things anyways. I guess I can make one and just keep it there and whoever wants to get something can. And if not, I'll just get it like whenever I can, you know? <laughs> like things I'm actually going to want. But it's more like things I need. Like I have to get everything. It sucks. Like a TV wall, a friggin' TV unit. Like... I don't like thinking about, I don't care about that stuff. Honestly, I lay in bed on my phone. Like, what more do I need? A bed, phone, kitchen crap, you know? The most egregious lie was that she was preparing to put a refundable deposit on an apartment one afternoon after having just arrived in Canada. Today. So once I do that, it's fine. I mean, you can get it back, but my mind changes every hour. <laughs> I'll give the deposit, and if I just somehow something happens, I'll just uh, cancel it, I guess. Or get it back. It's refundable. But there was also a significant snowstorm that day and many accidents on the road. The local government warned people not to leave their houses unless strictly necessary. Foodie not only risked the lives of emergency workers by leaving in her needed to be repaired Kia, who believes she spent $2,000 Canadian to fix the car and brakes just to get a cup of coffee. She stated she would be driving to leave a deposit on that apartment also during that time. This is a person who barely left her apartment in Kuwait and now she is being reckless on the roads in Canada for an apartment? Ironically, she mentioned her apartment could be refunded if she changed her mind. But Foodie told her audience they would need to request a PayPal refund rather than automatically giving it to them once she returned to Kuwait, especially after this enormous grift. I'm also getting Sam back. <laughs> like, I'm getting Sam back when I get my place. The foster lady, um... She's like, after all, she had a cat before Sam, an older cat, and he doesn't really like Sam. I thought they were getting along, but no. Number five, getting Sam the cat back. This one is especially toxic because she never could care for Sam or her other cat, BBJ, properly. And she knows that it will draw on the emotions of both her Beezers and reaction channels. Chantel has a history of taking money from her audience in the chat and not using it as they intended, most famously taking hundreds of dollars in the chat for one of her cat's care. She then told him it was her money 
and she could spend it how she wanted. Alleged is the cat never received any care. She has a long documented history of animal abuse and neglect. This neglect is not limited to Canada, but to her cat now in Kuwait, Julia not receiving adequate vet care. This grifter is using past companion animals to elicit money and help set up this alleged scam she just ran in Canada before telling everyone through a video that glaringly seemed made by her husband that she has returned to Kuwait. Way to go, Chantal. Don't you fall. Yeah, church. Yes, I'm getting Sam. And yes, I'm going to take very good care of him. His nails are not going to get too long. Here's the thing. There's religion and there's culture, okay? I'm Canadian, like, blood-wise, and we believe in the medicinal power of marijuana. So that's something I'm going to consider because, um, you know, I know it would be frowned upon by most Muslim people, but for me, it's like, I don't know. It's like medicine for me. I feel like having like a night when I get home, like whenever, you know, you, you do your whole day, be productive. And then later at night for a treat, like to relax, it's like medicine. Look, it helps with like, you know, the CBD and that can help with pain. I can't take too many more NSAIDs. Like my stomach is going to have a hole like this big inside it. Number four, maintaining her faith. Foodie Beauty mentioned the numerous times she was not able to eat halal. The minute she stepped off the plane from Frankfurt, she said she was going to find a more Canadian style of clothing to wear and admitted to needing Mary Jane for pain management, as we just heard. Foodie also let her chat know these were things she just needed to do now she had returned to Canada. And she had the audacity to ask for PayPal donations later in the live. Chicken sandwich. No, it's not halal, but they don't have halal food where I am. So sometimes I'm not going to eat halal. Chantal wanted to feel free and she happily showed her tattoo the moment she was in the Kia. Just the fact she was trying to run a PayPal scheme throughout a live and during the holy month of Ramadan is one of the worst and most shameless demonstrations of a lack of respect for her reverted faith. The list is long on this one and another reason why anyone watching her content should be skeptical of anything she says or does. Well, we'll let Foodie explain. Maybe? Mostly what it is verbatim that's like to cover, make like loose clothing so you can't see the form of your body. Like, don't dress like what we would call skank dress, you know? Which I used to do. Yeah, but I don't miss that. I like to be covered up. Honestly, I do. I, I, I'm 40. I want to kind of start dressing my age. But for me, I think I like, you know, like this stuff. Like, God. And like, how can I, you know, how can I just automatically... I, you know what? You can stop believing. People switch all the time. People go through struggle, you know? I think religion is something very personal, you know? We are almost finished with this onslaught of deception. And at number three is taking care of her health. This one is not even debatable, and no one believes Chantal is seriously taking care of her health. Someone who is drinking gravy on a live stream while being an unmanaged uncontrolled type 2 diabetic should not be listened to when it comes to them considering their health. The quantities of takeout and fast food she ate in Canada alone were horrific. No, because I have to take medications and I need to drink water because of my diabetes. It's too hard. You're not required to fast if you have medical reasons and you're just like, just an excuse, whatever, it's not. I mean, it is, yeah. But it's a valid one, you know? <laughs> I did at the beginning fast, yeah. <laughs> and it's just overwhelming right now, all, all the things I have to do to correct my life, you know? <sighs> so, when all I really feel like doing is honestly bed rotting and watching movies like Motel Hell and eating junk food, which I know is not, it, that's not a way to live all the time. You can live like that sometimes. So that gives me hope. <laughs> Telling her sub she plans to take care of herself is just a continuation of the manipulation and 
absolute narcissistic personality style she exhibits. She is also persistently flying, increasing her risk of a deep vein thrombosis. Depressed about like not, I, I didn't feel like I was doing much and like I don't have any good health care there. So a lot of reasons. The summer's going to like scare, scares the crap out of me. <laughs> Could be considered is if Foodie also used this opportunity to fill prescription drugs and obtain over-the-counter pain medications available in Canada and not Kuwait. In such a short visit home, she would have been limited in the medical care she would have received and she certainly did not see the much-needed dentist or podiatrist. Chantel openly admitted health care in Kuwait is difficult and that is the reason for this return to Canada. What lies and nonsense since she is already back on a plane and does not care if she adequately addresses her health issues or she has a medical event while traveling. Foodie never considers how her behaviors can impact those around her. It is hard to get into a doctor here, yeah. Oh, Foodie. I think we've heard that one before. These two combined may be the biggest alleged scam. And though they should be number one, there is still a bigger deception to reveal. At number two is the PayPal and Amazon wishlist scam. We already looked at this closely in her car repair and apartment scam at number six and number seven. But this griff caused Foodie to rage, post on her community tabs, and then delete all her posts. What a shocker. It was the usual anger directed at reaction channels and haters, and she seemed to not understand how her directly asking for money through PayPal might be violating their terms. It seems you need to have advanced permission from the company to be able to advertise your account on a live stream. Chantel, I hope you cleared this with the company before you went live, or you could have broken your agreement with them. It is crucial to explore this PayPal request to understand if there was any fraudulent intentions behind it. By examining the request for money through PayPal, we can assess if they align with Foodie Beauty's claims and if they were used to deceive her subscribers. This exploration will shed light on whether the PayPal request was part of a larger scam or if it was genuine. For those wanting a reminder, let's hear Foodie give the address one more time to the account. If you want to, my PayPal is... <laughs> I don't know how to pin. I'm on my phone. It's C... Okay, get ready to write it down if you want to. But you don't have to. But if you do, thank you. Okay, so it's C-S-A-R-A. Is that my PayPal? E is that my PayPal email? Yeah. C-S-A-R-A at... No, you know what? Just look up Foodie Beauty. PayPal.me backslash Foodie Beauty. Yeah, that's what it is. I cannot believe it. We finally made it to the final deception. And at number one is moving back to Canada. Need we say more about this last one? Let us have Chantel take us through this whirlwind. Break was amazing. And I made a very big decision to um, move back to, to Canada. And honestly, if I had my way and I was rich, I would probably bounce back and forth all the time. No, you're not. You know what? I wouldn't. Sorry about that. It'll be just just be better when I'm in my own place. But there's just something that's really depressing about it. I don't know why. Like, I feel like I've backtracked if I, <laughs> if I move back here. Like a full circle. That circle must be the four stages of the Chantel cycle. And it's a bloody tornado of lies. Bees, pout, rage, and rebrand. If you can think of any other lies Foodie told on this trip, please drop them in the comments below. And if you did make it this far in the video, leave me a car in the comments. And that's an unrepaired Kia. Leave me a like and make sure to subscribe if you haven't. This is Ray and this is Life and Vibe. Until the next time.